slay hello my friends and welcome back to my channel today i'm doing a 300 subscriber q a because i'm doing this for every 100 subscribers from now on so i didn't get a lot of questions i thought it was a little bit weird because in the 200 subscriber q a there was many more but that's fine because this editing shouldn't be too heavy on this also i'm doing my best to deal with this green background and i don't know exactly how to film so if i'm like a little dark and stuff like this it's because i'm trying my best to do so i only have like five or six questions we're just gonna get through them maybe talk a little more and then um i have to record some more videos so yeah before i get started i need to say a big thanks for 300 subscribers i know that for a lot of youtubers this will seem like oh like 100 subscribers more that's nothing much, but I've been working on YouTube for these eight months. I've really been putting a lot of time into this and a lot of energy and just pouring my heart out. So if this is working out and if and if even if it's working out slowly, that's better than it not working at all. So I'm a type of person that when I want something really bad, I'm gonna get it. So I really, really wanna do YouTube as a full-time thing. So I'm gonna work for it and if this takes me five years to like get my first euro that's okay I'm, I'm willing to put in the time and I know that it, it, it will seem stupid for a lot of people that's fine people have told me nasty things about my channel but that's okay because at the end of the life mm, I'm going to be the one that's gonna be YouTube successful and they are not because they're not even posting videos so in the end i will win so let's get into the questions i don't know why i got so aggressive so quickly but <laughs> it's fine i guess i'm just kind of tired from these few weeks they have been a lot and let's get into it so the first question i don't exactly know how it was written but i'm gonna tell it to you as i remember it so it was like if you could change anything about your life what would you change and uh the thing is it's very simple i wouldn't change anything really because I think that everything we do happens for a reason and also the way I am right now fits my style of living you know so if I would say like oh I would just change that I would like make a lot of money from YouTube and whatever what that would bring me is that I would have to be really really consistent with YouTube and I would be at a point where I'm currently not I'm currently not ready to kind of do this full time because I got school. I can't just focus on YouTube purely. So everything kind of comes with its own consequences. So I don't know. I do think that if, if I would be like, oh, if I can change anything in the past, I also don't know if I would ever change things because again, everything that we did in the past brings us to this moment. And at this moment, I am a very happy person. And you know, even the bad things that happen kind of bring me to here. And you know, I don't think it's that abstract think about it so like it makes sense i guess now give me a second i'm gonna be reading question oh my god oh. now let me pull up these questions i have on this youtube video oh huh? so funny enough i posted on ask me anything on my instagram with 650 followers so I thought there's going to be many more questions than on YouTube. But the questions that I got were from my friends. And there are things that I literally, like, I don't think I can say on YouTube. So, literally, y'all were useless. <laughs> I'm joking, okay? I need you for my next video. Shut up. Where are the comments? What? There's no comments. Just kidding. Are you? Then, okay. So, the next four questions are from a YouTube comment. If you are watching this, thank you so much for leaving it because it's really helped for this video. So, the first question was, are you in the plant industry? Now, I don't know what exactly you mean by that, but I think it's meant more as like, kind of do you grow plants commercially or stuff like that. I'm not in the plant industry and in that kind, but I guess I am a part of it let's say if i would if i would have a channel with like hundreds of thousands of subscribers and i would talk about some plants that you haven't seen yet let's say kaylee allen does that a lot i guess she she is in the plant industry if we don't even think about the shop just from influencing people to let's say oh look at this plant and then you want to buy it that's kind of the plant industry so i guess in that sense if i show you plants that you maybe haven't seen yet i guess i'm a part of it it's it's micro i'm not important in the plant industry at all also i haven't really sold my plants i have some orange princesses right below you that are going to be sold one day i hope i answered this question decently the second one is are you training to be a gardener this one okay it's not meant to i'm not trying to laugh at it but it's it's funny it's put it's put very funny because people have always told me that like oh just go to like 
a school for botanics or whatever and I was like I don't I don't need a school for that like I just you know I have my own plants and I like to learn by myself so that's kind of the thing I was always telling about people but I'm not training to be a gardener especially because I think the main difference is that I focus a hundred percent on indoor plants and I I don't like gardening I really don't because outside there's more animals in the soil also things die in the conditions outside and I don't like that so I like to keep the beautiful plants inside so I guess in that sense I'm not training to be a gardener but I guess I kind of technically speaking I am a gardener because I have garden inside I think you know what I mean my eyes are going to fall out from this light behind you that's that's insane give me a second I'm gonna record this why not so this is how I look now and then this oh my god this is a piece of white paper and without it I look like this and then with it right here I look much brighter <laughs> shine bright like a diamond i really said it okay i don't want to hold a piece of paper underneath me i guess i have to i'm not re-recording the video it's just better now this next question is very fun for me to answer because it is how much time do you devote to youtube too much <laughs> many people would say too much because the fact that i don't get a single cent from this channel and i put in five hours weekly minimum so, okay, think about it like this. I try, by the new system that I made, to post a long format video once a week on a Friday, which means in a, in a, in a, in a full week, I need to record and then edit and then post the video, which basically means recording can depend on the video. Let's say maybe it's half an hour, one hour. That's okay, one hour. Editing is where it gets tricky. If it's a more heavy editing video, it means that, that there can be 10 hours of editing. And that's why the, the video will take me two weeks to edit instead of one. Because I only have like an, a free hour a day because other time goes to school. I try to edit at least for an hour every single day to just at least do something. If I don't finish a video, that's fine. But at least I did something that day. So that would bring me to like at least five, six hours already because counting the first hour and then posting another half one hour depending where I post so I guess seven hours minimum that's insane that's actually insane I never thought about it but that's too much so I hope this starts paying off I really hope okay okay so this one is also really fun this one is just really sweet do you receive support from your friends and family this one is really simple to answer I get a huge amount of support my mom watches every single one of my videos and th there's a lot of my friends that also do then there is this one guy on Instagram that's super sweet and also watches every single one of my videos and he is really amazing and then uh, my like close friends they really support me and they're like yeah you do this like you're doing so well there's this one really really close friend that always is a huge support and I can't thank them enough which is incredible and you know I am so so thankful to everyone that's supporting me because this is kind of it's one of the harder times on YouTube because at some point I know I'm gonna be making money from this I don't know when but one day I will and at this point this is kind of where I'm working the most because I Yes, I started three years ago, but at that point, I really didn't put this much time and effort into it. So now really is when I'm grinding and I'm doing my best. So that's kind of it. So I was almost done editing the video and then I was going to look at the actual questions so I can add them as they were written and found out that there is three more questions that I never answered, which is insane. So I'm going to answer them right now. So this is very random. But first one was... Uh, where did you get your plant passion? I think that it just kind of got sparked just like everyone else's while the pandemic was going on. And then I just, I don't know, I saw it on YouTube and I was just watching these YouTubers and they were all just with these amazing plants. And I was like, oh my God, I need to start this. But to be quite honest, I don't really remember the beginnings. Like I really don't remember a lot of things. So I can give you an exact answer to this exact one. Uh, then it's your least favorite plant and why i'm gonna assume from my plants that i own because there is many that i really don't like out there 
that I could make a video about, but not not right now. If I have to pick one to just throw away, probably just my normal orchids, Phalaenopsis orchids. They're just boring, they don't do anything, and they are stupid. And uh, this, the last one was, uh, we gotta see your Spotify wrapped. I don't use Spotify, I don't like it. I don't like the fact that you need to get premium to even skip songs, at least that was when I tried it once. And I use YouTube Music, and finally I got my wrapped. So I'm gonna put some photos on the screen. Interestingly, but not a surprise, was that I listened to Netta a lot. So she was the winner of Eurovision 2018. And uh, as you can see, I've been 0.2% of her top fans because I listened to her songs for like six hours this year. So that's not that much actually, but still, I love her. She actually replied to my story, which is so sweet of her. I can't believe it. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. That was so sweet. But yes, as you can see, I'm very upbeat person. I like to get energized by music because, you know, you get tired by life and then you need to pump up some music and that's just kind of all I wanted to say. Now that I have enlightened you on everything, I'm gonna uh, thank you again and I'm gonna leave you. I really hope you have a good rest of your day, night, whatever, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. That's finally it for the video. You can go now. <laughs>